Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to do our meal plan for the week. I thought I might do this every single week and that way maybe inspire some new ideas for you guys, but also hopefully um, you guys will put in the comments some of your favorite meals that you like to make and that will inspire me. So anyways, um, so for this week I am going to go over what we are making. So on Sunday the 11th, uh, my dad's coming over and we're doing something simple. My dad had three cents put in his heart in May and so we try to eat, in general we try to eat healthier, but when my dad is around I try to make sure that we have good heart healthy things um, or choices that he can you know pick from that are better for him. So we are doing sandwiches, baked beans, chips and fruit. Oh, and an FYI, this is mainly for supper or if you're not from the Midwest, dinner meals. Um, you know, if the girls are home, you know, for some reason, if they had school canceled or whatever for lunches, a lot of times they'll have leftovers or I have things here for them to eat um, that are easy for them to, to make themselves while I'm at work. So uh, even though I work from home, a lot of times I just can't cook for them when I'm trying to work too. So anyways, um, on then on Monday, uh, we are doing the same thing. We're just doing basically leftovers from the night before. And the reason why I'm doing this is because it's going to be a busy night. Uh, one kid is getting home from wrestling practice and then we're turning around and going to another uh, kid's uh, they have a choir. She's at my oldest is in choir. So um, varsity choir has their show that night, but it's going to be a longer one anyways, because they're also doing freshman choir and then the band. They're doing their Christmas program that night. So I wanted something simple and easy for, uh, for meals. Something I do when meal planning is I look at my calendar at the activities that are going on that night to determine exactly what I can, um, if, if I need to cook, you know, throw something in the crock pot during the day, or if I need to, if I have the ability just to make it after work, you know, that kind of thing. So that's kind of how I determine what I'm making. So, and then on Tuesday, we are doing chicken and noodles. It's not chicken noodle soup, it's chicken and noodles. It's just shredded chicken and just regular egg noodles. Um, I like the Reams brand. It's frozen. I can also make my own, but let's just face it. There's days I'm just not able to do that. I love making the noodles. My grandma taught me a long time ago and you know, there's nothing like them, but I found that the Reams noodles are really good too. So we're doing chicken and noodles and I always have biscuits with that and mashed potatoes. So. Um, always a good, good, nice, warm meal for the winter time, especially when it's cold in the Midwest. So then Wednesday we are doing ham and potato soup. And I just put this in our crock pot and it's amazing. So Thursday, another crock pot meal is going to be chili. Always a fan favorite around here. Friday I'm doing marinated chicken with scalloped potatoes. The marinade I use is Lowry's, it's Lowry's teriyaki. I think it's got pineapple in it. I'm not really sure, but it's so good. I cut up chicken, like boneless, skinless chicken breasts in like three sections. So they're smaller pieces, um, which is actually really perfect for my youngest daughter because she doesn't like to eat really big portions. Um, but I marinate that in a Ziploc bag overnight. And then all I do is bake it. Or sometimes if we, in the winter, in the summertime, we will grill it on the grill outside. So either way, it's absolutely delicious. And then Saturday I am doing ham balls and cheesy potatoes. If you are from the Midwest, you might know, know what ham balls are. It's ham loaf, which is ground beef, pork sausage, and is that it? Ground beef and pork sausage. Yeah, it's mixed together. And then you mix in graham crackers, egg, 
said it. Yeah, I just make things, I guess, and I don't really use recipes. But anyways, then you pour, you take a mixture of tomato soup, ground mustard, a little bit of vinegar and brown sugar, and you mix that together and you pour that over the top and you bake it and it's amazing. And then cheesy potatoes, some people call them funeral potatoes, I think, but they're like the, the Cracker Barrel. They have their uh, cheesy potatoes there, but it's, it's hash brown, sour cream, uh, shredded cheddar cheese, um, onion, and then you can put in seasonings if you want. I put, I put a little bit of seasoned salt in there and salt and pepper, and it's really good. So anyways, that is my meal plan for the week. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you like this kind of thing. Um, and if you have any, you know, meals that your family really likes, especially if they're for ones that, you know, maybe for pickier eaters or younger kids, that would be awesome. All right. I hope you have a great day. Bye.